Well, thank you so much for your interest in learning how to build your own Serif Web Plus X8 website. I'm going to take you through that. First things first, you go out to my website, Got clicks.biz and then click on website and you'll see build a serif website here just click on that and here are the steps you can come to this page at any time and there are uh, tutorials here between the difference between hosting and domain what does that all mean beginners copy your care and feeding of your website we're going to use this document through this tutorial and on the bottom are some more advanced tutorials there's the getting started here just as a refresher for you how to do sliders video light boxes here and mobile responsive how to make your website responsive how to add PDFs and flyers to your website and lastly getting paid PayPal how to quickly add PayPal buttons to your Serif Web Plus website so those tutorials are waiting for you they're simple to play you just click on the button here and it instantly opens up the video and you can watch so in order to start building your website the first thing we're going to do is download a free copy of the Web Plus X8 software so we just click on that button on the left click free download and we're going to put in our email address here and then you just create your account and an activation email has been sent to my email address I just use that link to activate my new account so once you have your download obviously some of the features might not be open for you this is the home page of getting started with web plus x8 and you'll see there are six buttons on the left hand side that you can open up open means uh, documents that you've been recently working on you can see there's some here that I've been working on the learn button there are lots of quick start tutorials here inside of Serif Web Plus if you want to create a new website it takes you through the site name the color scheme the default page size initial number of pages this is if you want to start from scratch you can do this or you can click this button and choose templates and templates are really an easy way for you to get started with building out your website and the last button is news it tells you some of the new features and new sales that they have in Serif Web Plus X8 so to make this easy we're just going to grab some of the templates and you can scroll through and pick any template you wish for this exercise we're going to use glitch and I can change the color scheme here at the top and we'll just click ribbon 2 and you don't have to select all of these pages I'm just going to choose these three pages home about us and gallery because I want to show you the photo gallery and how that works so if you're playing along with me go ahead and choose those three and click OK okay so once you have this page open I suggest that you download this care and feeding of your website doc just simply click on this and we're going to take you through these steps one at a time the first thing we're going to look at is the pages and where they're located and the difference between the master pages the regular pages site manager and site structure so your pages are located on the right hand side master pages house everything that you want to appear on all of your pages across the website whereas if I click on this index page for example that's your home page index is the home page now some of this I want to change up in here because I want to have different text and different information for my viewers coming in I want my logo for example maybe I want to have some of this writing to be different we're going to show you that in a minute but right now I'm seeing that this page might be a little too busy for me so I'm just going to highlight some of this information here and I can lasso objects simply by clicking on that puzzle piece and clicking and dragging it out of the way in this case I'm just going to delete it completely because I just don't need it but I'm seeing that I have this huge gap here that's where site manager comes into play 
Site Manager tells you a quick down and dirty of everything that's going on with each of your pages. It tells you the alignment, the master page, which one, master page is tied to which page. Yes, you can have multiple master pages. Why would you want that? Maybe if you want a different look and feel for each page, that's why a master page would be coming into play. In this instance, all I want to do is change the height of my index page. So I come over here, I change the height, I hit close, and there, it's changed the height. So that's how Site Manager comes into play. Site Structure is what I would use if I wanted to add a page to my website. So for example, maybe I want to have a Contact Us page or something along those lines. I would simply click on this page, go to Page Properties, and put my information in, including search terms. This is how websites find you. By having a description of your page and how you have keywords, it's easier for your customers to find you. So once I've filled all of that information in, you'll notice that these are populated here in the upper left. I want to copy that About Us page. I just hit Copy, and then I'll put Page Properties into that page. This might be my Contact Us page, or whatever you want it to turn into. And I can include the site in the page navigation, or I can exclude it if I wanted to do a special or a sale and I didn't want just everybody accessing it. That's how I could make it so that it doesn't show in the navigation. And then I just click OK. And then I close the site structure. So that's the difference between Site Manager and Site Structure Master Pages and your pages over here on the right. If this gets a little too tight for you, you can just simply click this down, drop down button and it shows the page is much bigger. If you need to make it sharper, magnify in or magnify out, the magnifying glass is in the lower right corner. Next on our list is text and how to change text inside of your Serif website. It's pretty easy actually. Let's say that I want to change out some of this text here on my master page. You'll notice if I try to type on it, it says I can either promote from the master page, which I don't want to do. I want to keep this stuff in what's known as my header onto my master page. So I'm just going to go to my master page and I can edit right from there. Or I can click over here and click my master page. Anytime you see the eyeball is the page that you're looking at. I'm going to magnify this, and if I want to change the type, I just highlight it and say, or whatever you want to have said. If I want to move text, I click my arrow on this four arrow, and then I can move it anywhere onto the box I want. If I don't like what I've done, I can click undo very important button. It's probably the most important button in Web Plus. <laughs> so that's how you change text. If you want to change the font, it's very similar to a Word document. You can see up here, I can change it to text. Now remember though, this is a website, so you have to use fonts that are safe. Otherwise, they're just going to show in Web Safe fonts change the font size, you can even change the color. Ooh! <laughs> undo, undo, quick! Okay, so that's how you change text. Pictures! Let's take a look at how to do that. I don't necessarily want this, I want to have a picture up here, so I'm just going to delete that. And there's a couple of ways you can go on pictures. One is you click insert picture from file. The other is putting an empty frame. I'm going to show you both of these. Empty frame, I'll put in like this. I can adjust the size of my empty frame. You can adjust the size of a picture too, but what's really cool about having a frame is that I can expand or contract the picture. I can move it left to right. I can do a lot of different things with it. So I'm just going to choose my picture and I can make it a little smaller. I can move it left to right, up or down. 
inside of the frame. So that's how you use the empty frame, picture frame. One thing I'll caution you on about the master pages, and I've done it myself, is sometimes if you go and you insert a picture on here thinking you're on one of your main website pages and it turns out you're not, let me show you what that looks like. I'm just going to show you how to insert a regular picture from file. So again, if I insert a picture, sometimes I'll need to resize the picture. That's why I like the empty frame first. But it's really not a big deal to resize these. You just simply click and drag from the corners. Don't click and drag from the side because what will happen is your picture gets wonky. Hit undo. Go corner to corner to edit these. And you can put it into place. If I want to crop this picture, you'll notice my cropping tool isn't here. It's over here on the left-hand side. It's a lot easier to crop a picture without it being in the, in the frame. Now, if I just left this picture, this is what would happen on the master page. I go to my index, and you see how it's hidden back here? You don't want that. You want to make sure that your pictures are up in places where they're going to show on all your pages if that's in fact what you want. I don't particularly want this but I'm just showing this as an example. Now this piece here is known as a slider. It's a little more complicated and because this is just an intro make sure that you go out to the gotclicks.biz website, go to websites, build a serif website. If you want to know how to put sliders in you just simply click on this tutorial and it will take you through how to work that and putting sliders in play. Next on our list is the photo gallery. So let's take a look at the photo gallery and see how that works. I specifically selected the page gallery. Again, if this is too tight, you just close that. I selected this because I wanted to show you a couple of options. The first one on the top is adding video and again if you want to add video that's a little more advanced than what we're doing and I have a tutorial again on the Build a Serif website web page on videos light boxes again click on the video it will show you exactly how to put videos up on your website. For the purpose of this exercise I want to use this guy down here this is a photo gallery very easy to use too. So all I do is I select the video gallery, I right click and I click edit photo gallery. I'm going to delete all these images and I'm going to add my files. And you can hold your control key down and add them all at once. There you go. I hit next and I can choose from any of these I want. And if I want to change the background color on these, I can easily do that. If I want to change the coloring of the navigation bar, I can do that too. whatever your choice is and then you just hit finish and there's your photo gallery now that I have my photo gallery I would kind of like to see what it looks like so in order to preview a website with before publishing you hit file preview preview in Mozilla Google Chrome whatever you want to use and again the video we didn't do but we did the photo gallery and this is how the photo gallery will look when you finish. So once you have a website that you're really happy with, you want to go out and get your hosting. And again, you just go out to gotclicks.biz forward slash build a serif website and click on this in order to get your hosting. And yes, I do get paid for this, 
but you pay the same price whether you do it through my website or you do it through Midphase yourself. Right now they've got a whopper of a sale going on. Save me 40. 40% 40 off. It's awesome. I've had their hosting since 2004. Their support is excellent. And you simply click here, start your hosting $2.95 a month. If you're just a beginner business, this is a great way to start. And that's a great way for you to thank me for the video. So that's it. Build your website. I look forward to seeing your creations. If you need more help, you can obviously come to this page. You can also go out to my YouTube channel. Just simply type in youtube.com forward slash gut clicks. Look for my playlists. Click Web Plus X8 and all the tutorials that I have are there. I highly recommend that you subscribe because I update this often and if somebody has a question or says, hey Sarah, could you do a video on something? I'm happy to put it up there. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your new website and happy clicking. <music>